If you're moving to Tennessee and you don't know what Money Magazine back in 2019, exactly two years ago today, said about this town in Tennessee, then you might well be missing out on the best place in the country to live. Don't miss this. See you on the other side. Tennessee is in the spotlight. So many people are considering a move here, but some of the places that everyone's heard of, of Nashville and Brentwood and Franklin are phenomenal towns in their own right. But do you know that Money Magazine in 2019 named Clarksville, Tennessee, little Clarksville, Tennessee, as the best city to live in in the country? I mean, you're not going to believe me, so I'm going to read it to you. Clarksville's affordability is hard to beat. Yet it's not the only thing that makes this city special, Money Magazine said. There's a unique charm to the place. It feels like the quintessential small American town. Money Magazine said residents can thrive and save at the same time in this charming city. So in today's show of National Redefined, we're going to talk about Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm going to give you some pros and cons of what Money Magazine called the number one town in the country to live. It was quite a shock when that uh, magazine article came out about Clarksville, simply because we don't really think of that. Here in Nashville, I will ultimately tell you that Nashvilleans think of Clarksville as that town that's right at the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, and that's where our military base is, right at Clarksville. It's on both sides of it, so it can be kind of confusing. But the things that Cl were told, Clarksville beat out over 1,700 other towns with populations up to 50,000 people to 300,000 people. They said the criterion that it used is economic health, cost of living, ethnic and economic diversity, public education, income, health and safety, ease of living, and the amenities. That's really what everybody's looking for when they're looking for a town, right? So well, let's talk about the pros and the cons of Clarksville, Tennessee. Clarksville is in Montgomery County of uh, Tennessee. It's about 50 miles from Nashville, which I clock that usually about an hour and 15 minutes drive time. Clarksville it covers about 95 square miles. And as I say, it's right at the Kentucky border, which puts you so close to, you know, some great things to do in Kentucky. Get over to, to uh, Louisville, uh, to Churchill Downs, to the races, get over to Kentucky, uh, Lexington with the horse park, which is my favorite. We can see the most beautiful horse track, I think, ever. Actually, sorry, Louisville, but Lexington is far prettier as far as the racetrack goes. But it's also very close to so many things in Nashville. I'll get to that as a pro pretty soon. But it's about a little over an hour drive to Nashville. The population as of last year is right at 152,000. Now, I'm going to say it's probably more than that, but I just don't have any more recent figures. It is considered a charming small town feel with real punch, real pizzazz. And one of the big reasons is, and this will be my first pro, it's a military town. With the military town comes massive patriotism and there's a purpose in life and you can't help but feel excited to be in a town like that. Also, what you've got with that is a lot of families and very closeness to the families because, you know, when people are deployed, those families become a very tight-knit community. With that, and many uh, small businesses are run, started, and really well taken care of by the community, new businesses that are boutique businesses right there, rather than huge chains. Now, you have the chain stores, too. I'm getting off to that. But the, the patriotism, the oneness, the tight-knit community of Clarksville is seriously something that I think many of us in large towns are craving. So that's got to be a massive pro. Number two pro for Clarksville, and that's something that was mentioned is why it was chosen as one of the top cities, is the cost of living. You know, the cost of health care, the cost of gasoline is about 20 cents different. I checked today than it is here in the Nashville community. The cost of living as far as housing goes is quite a bit less expensive. The median home price in Clarksville is about $250,000. 
the median home price in Nashville is uh, about $200,000 more than that. Now, I'm going to get to a negative, a con about that in a second, but right now, <laughs> the cost of living is really terrific. Now, beyond that, of course, as you know, property taxes in Tennessee is a lot less expensive than many, many places of the country. Also, we don't have a state income tax, which is why many people from the military choose to live, if they're off base, to live in Tennessee, on the Tennessee side, whether they purchase a home or rent, because of that tax basis and that tax situation. Because of that, we do have a higher income tax, excuse me, because of that, we do have a higher sales tax though, so I don't want to be misleading in that. There is no income tax. We have much lower property taxes than most places of the country. That's in Clarksville and throughout Tennessee. But we do have a fairly high sales tax. I believe it right 9.75. Clarksville has a very strong job market, very low unemployment, and it's super attractive for millennials because of that. The cost of living is not as expensive, but many commute on into Nashville if they want that nightlife kind of thing. But because of the cost of living, and they can easily work in Clarksville as well and make a good income, it makes it kind of the best of both worlds. The number three massive pro about Clarksville also exists throughout the state of Tennessee, and that is that we have four distinct seasons. That fall is beautiful, especially I can't wait till this fall because we are not been very dry this summer. We've had great moisture and those leaves are going to turn and be beautiful. Now, Clarksville is right there at that Kentucky line and it's at the, 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 the Cumberland River. The seasons are beautiful as they keep turning. Our fall is going to be lovely. Uh, the winters, we do have winters and they can be kind of dark. That may be negative in just a minute, but at the, at the right now, you have the four distinct seasons, summer, winter, fall, spring. Each one lasts about as long as you want it to last and then you're ready for it to go. But the outdoor activities that we've got are perfect around all of those seasons. Now, you're not going to snow ski and we will get a little bit of snow, maybe some ice, not a whole lot, anywhere in Tennessee. Uh, two or three days worth at most is how long they last, when they last. But the outdoor lifestyle is stupendous wherever you happen to live in Tennessee, and Clarksville happens to be a part of that. The number four pro, when you're talking about Clarksville, it has a massive, unique charm. Truly, I think so many people are looking for that feeling of nostalgia, the, the community, the um, small town feel, but all the amenities of, of the big town when you want it. And that's the uniqueness that is Clarksville that Money Magazine saw. There's so many family-friendly things to do. It is called the quintessential small town Americana feel. There's outdoor ice skating in the trampoline park. There are microbreweries and a winery. The um, farmer's markets on a regular basis. You've got, if history is your thing, and there's a lot of it throughout this whole region, Fort Defiance and Fort Donaldson are great attractions for history buffs. There are small locally owned businesses, restaurants, great places to relax, head on down to the downtown commons or on the river walk for some afternoon sunsets on that paved walkway along the Cumberland River. Clarksville is very close to one of my favorite places that's just beautiful, which is called the Land Between the Lakes, a national recreation area. This is um, uh, a recreation area in Kentucky and Tennessee between Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lake. It was designated as a national recreation area in 63 by John Kennedy. The interesting thing about these two lakes are they were constructed by uh, TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority, uh, which constructed the lake, the two lakes in the area, and then the recreation area was centered around it afterwards. TVA is the reason that our utilities in this region are so reasonably priced for our electricity. So uh, thank you for TVA, and thank you because those lakes are beautiful. Number five, really basic but really important 
uh, pro about Clarksville is its easy proximity to so many things that people love to do. Outside of Clarksville, as I say, you're about an hour and 15 minutes from Nashville. You are not but a couple of hours from both uh, Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. Your easy access to Mammoth Cave, which is one of my favorite places to have gone when I was little, um, it, it, it going that direction. You are a day's drive away from the beach down on uh, Highway 31A, uh, getting you down into the Destin area, which is where so many people from Middle Tennessee and uh, Kentucky drive straight on down and have that white, white sandy beach sand between your toes. It's easily accessible to the, the Nashville International Airport for um, ease of travel and we've got so many of the airlines that run through there. It's only a couple hours away from getting to the Smoky Mountains or over into the mountains of North Carolina. So the accessibility for day drive trips to get to so many different attractions and things to do make it a really a stellar place to live. All right, there at Clarksville at the border of Kentucky and Tennessee. Okay, so I've got to keep it real with you. Every town has some negative features about it, right? So let's talk about the cons, the five. And I really had to pull some strings here to um, come up with five, but well, let's do it. Number one con about living in Clarksville is the flip side of one of the pros. We do have the four seasons and we do have the things that people love so much about uh, the Tennessee area, the four seasons and all the trees and the outdoor life and, and the beauty of nature. But with that comes those very same things that happens in Nashville, it happens in Franklin. It, I talk about all the time, the chiggers, the ticks, the bugs, those basic things. And there's a full video about that for you. Um, that you can watch and see what it is and what we do about them. They've got the same thing in Clarksville. You know, there's that, that land between the lakes. You're going to have those things. Also, the humidity. We do have a lot of humidity. It's terrible on hair like mine. It just goes flat. Or if you happen to be lucky and have curly hair, curly haired people don't like the humidity either. They say it makes it really unmanageable. Don't know. I'm jealous. I wish I had some curly hair. But that humidity, which we do get in the summertime, is um, pretty fierce. The number two negative feature that I can think of about Clarksville is, is the growing pains. Any town that's having growing pains, people flocking to it with massive growth, is going to have the growing pains, and they've got it too. Now, when people are trying to look and buy a home in the Clarksville area, the same thing is happening there, which is happening throughout the country. There's very little inventory. The housing shortage is truly a thing in Clarksville as well. So it can be really frustrating when you're looking to either try to buy a new home because those new home builders just haven't been able to start as many homes. They haven't been able to finish as many homes because the, the supplies are slowed down throughout the chain of, of supply chain that has been going on for the last year or so. So the competition in Clarksville, as many, many places, is fierce. And as you heard me say, the price of the cost of living is really, really good in that area. That means that millennials are flocking to it, or people who are really trying to look for very affordable places are, that's one of the top places in Tennessee to go. So you're all gonna be competing for the same place. Find yourself a realtor, an expert, who knows the area inside and out so that you can be the first to know about different properties that come on the market. But that competition, be ready for it. You aren't the first person to know about it and the competition will be fierce. The number three negative, kind of a con thing that I can think of, goes along with that growth, traffic. Traffic is an issue everywhere. Now, Clarksville does not have any rapid transit, haven't even had a need to have that. But you know it's getting it's getting it's getting busier. So traffic can be kind of a bear, especially when you're coming in from uh, it, going out of Nashville or coming back into Nashville up and down I-24. You also have so many different new drivers to an area. You know the way people drive on the freeway in California is very different than how Tennesseans drive on the interstate. 
different driving styles from those coming from different areas have to meld all into one. And Clarksville's having some of those growing pains as well. I just learned that in California, I understand that you stop when you're getting on to the interstate or the freeway, whatever you call it, that there you stop and then merge onto traffic. Here in Tennessee, you don't stop. You slowly merge your way into it and you don't barge your way into it. So different driving styles, it's just causing a little bit of a tension. So that's a negative. The other thing is during rain, sometimes the rains are torrential and people haven't learned to drive with a little bit more care with the lights on and it's just traffic is not good during bad weather. It's just part of it. Number four, a negative feature if you love this type of thing is that Clarksville doesn't have a lot of nightlife. As I told you, it's great family fun. It's great outdoor recreation. It's a laid back community kind of lifestyle. There's a couple bars, but there's certainly not any late night night life. Now, as you know, it's very close to downtown Nashville, about an hour. That's all the nightlife you can handle. Unless you really love that nightlife, then you don't want to be in Clarksville. But you know what? It's so nice to get to the nightlife, enjoy yourself once or twice a month. That's your thing and then get out of town and have some peace and quiet. But if nightlife is your thing, then you may not find Clarksville to be your perfect spot. The number five most negative thing I can actually think about of Clarksville is this. It is a military area. There's a lot of people being deployed, coming in, coming out. And the good side of that is you make so many friends from around the world and it's easier to keep touch now than it used to be ever before, right? But families become very close and very tight knit and just really, really tight, just very tight. And I think it would be a very tough thing to have families come and go with the different deployments um, because you just you know, you're, you're, you miss the friends that you become so close to. So I would think that is probably the biggest negative if I were to live in Clarksville uh, because I, I just want to be surrounded by my friends. You're always going to have new ones, but, um, you know, to keep track of them and see them go would be tough. But new friends come all the time. So maybe you can understand some of the reason that um, Money Magazine named Clarksville as top city to live in in the country back in 2019. I'll put that article uh, in the description below. Tennessee is full of great little treasures that many people don't know about. Very close to Nashville, but worlds away in feeling and uh, maybe a place that you should check out. Hey, I invite you, go ahead and be sure to subscribe to this channel because next show is going to be actually in Clarksville with one of my partner experts who lives there her entire life. And we're going to see it from the eyes of a lifelong Clarksvillian. I think that's a word, a lifelong Clarksvillian. I'm Susan Thetford with Parks Properties and the Nashville Redefined Show. We talk about all things Tennessee to help you become accustomed to and learn about Tennessee. Hopefully you'll make it be your next new home. Till next time.